keyword research on Etsy. I am just about to make this super easy for you. So if you've been around this channel for any length of time, you'll have noticed me talk about keyword research a few times. It is one of the most important factors in growing a small shop. In fact, not even just on Etsy, keyword research is super important on anything on the internet because it means you are looking for the exact search terms that customers or viewers are using to find you and your items and you're comparing that to the competition. So you're looking at what the customers want and you're looking at what the other sellers are providing and you're seeing if there's a little niche that you could break into and do super well. But to do keyword research really effectively, you have to be pretty scientific about it. You want to identify a big chunk of these keywords, decide what you're going to aim for, and then create listings around what those keywords are and come back and check often how your results are doing. And to do this effectively, well, in the past, I generally have stacks of notebooks, stacks of paper, millions of Excel spreadsheets. I've got data all over the place. I'm in quite a bit of a mess. But eRank has just come out with a new tool that, yeah, people say game changer a lot, but this really is a game changer. This is going to take away all of my stacks of notebooks, all of my loose sheets of paper that I keep losing, all of my Excel spreadsheets and put everything into one place. And this feature is keyword lists. So let's go down to the computer and have a look what I'm on about. Okay, you can find this keywords list tool from your Etsy dashboard or anywhere on each Etsy using the menu bar here, tools, keyword lists. And this takes you to your master list of lists where all your keywords are, where all your keyword lists are. And here, let's just create a new list and then I'll get into showing you how to use it. So I'm gonna, gonna create a new list for my new shop, Mia's Paw Prints. So I wanna do a bit of keyword research before I start making making any more listings. So let's find out what's going on here. So I've created that new list. We can see it pop in here. Um, just now I have options to change the title here. I could delete the list. It has no keywords in it. It's marketplaces Etsy. That means I am trying to optimize it for Etsy and there's no items in it and it was just created today, which you'll see this keyword list might look slightly different than what yours will look like because I'm recording this ever so slightly in the past. So we're in the beta version, but yours will look slightly different. Um, and here I have the option to add different colored flags to have a look at what I'm doing with this list. So this is brand new. I haven't started experimenting with it yet. Now you can use these flags for anything you want to do, but I'm going to say for brand new, I'm going somewhere in the middle. I've not tried it yet, so I don't know if it works and it's not rubbish yet. So here we go. Now I can go into the keyword list, but there's nothing there yet. This is where the magic is. When we go to any of the keyword research tools, so we'll go to Keyword Explorer. Now Mia's Paw Prints is a digital art shop. So let's have a look at digital Digital dog drawing. Well, that's what my item is going to be. So I'm going to have a look for this and give it a search in the Keyword Explorer. Any of your keyword research tools will have this. And what you can see is this is your keywords lists button. This is showing me that Mia's Paw Prints is the active list just now. I can, from the drop down here, choose any of my other keyword lists. I can also, if this is in the way, move it up and down out of the road. And you have the option to go and view this list, create a new list or edit my lists from here. But yeah, we're just wanting the keyword lists here. If you get stuck at any point, we have help files all over the place. So take a look at them. Okay, so I've gone into digital dog drawing. And although this sounds like the exact thing I wanted to rank for, there's not much search data here. But what I can do is scroll down to the related searches. 
So now I would never advise for one word tags, but it can be an idea to keep an eye on these kind of one word tags. Dog, how is the trend for dog going? Are people searching more or less for dogs? So that's important to look at. And again, custom dog. Now, personalized as a search term has been on the decline, the decrease, but it looks like there might be an increase in people searching for custom things just now. Um, dog portrait custom, that's a potential term. It's odd how people search for things. I would say custom dog portrait, but they look for obviously dog portrait and then perhaps think, oh, I want this custom. So that's how people search. Um, digital custom dog painting, although this has a lower competition, so it's a good sounding keyword. My items are digital. Um, I think I'd be pushing it to call them digital just now. Uh, can it be put on a pillow? It actually can. So there's an idea. Custom dog art. So at the minute, I'm not refining anything. I'm just looking at what are potential reasonable ones that I want to look at. And you'll see, well, custom dog print. When I click on it, my numbers in my little button here increase by one. And all these tags appear here. I could remove them at any point by clicking on the cross if I didn't like any of them. A custom dog sketch. There's a potential custom dog drawing. Now looking at trying to narrow down. Is there something a little bit interesting in all of these? Digital dog drawing has a fair bit of competition, but no one's searching for it, even though it's the exact thing I want. So I've not necessarily found any great keywords just now. So what you want to do is dive deeper and your list's going to remember everything you've got here. But so we said dog portrait custom, that's pretty, pretty accurate for what we're making. So if I click on this to go to the keyword explorer for this term, we can see there's a bit more of a search trend. It's not looking popular in 2020, but these things can pick up again. It's certainly a better term. So what else is there? Well, custom pet portrait. There's an idea. Dog portrait by itself. Again, they're high competition, but sometimes it's worth aiming high if the risk's worth it. There's a good number of people searching and they'll, the ones that do like to click on it. So watercolour. I'm not doing watercolour. Um, dog portrait custom painting. Wow, what a terrible way to search for terms, but it has been getting some searches and the competition isn't high, so that's maybe one to aim for. Uh, memorial again, yes, could be. Although that was just a one off peak, it doesn't seem high the rest of the time. So again, we're getting some more ideas. Custom pet portrait, let's dig deeper into this one. And super easy, at just a click, we get in to see the new things. Now we can see custom pet portrait, this gets big at Christmas. So this might be an idea for me to remember towards the end of the year. And are there any, well, pet portrait, super good term there. Pet portrait custom, again, really popular. Custom pet portrait painting, ah, let's, let's try and remember it just now. Uh, custom pet portrait to digital, that one's okay. Again, it's slightly lower competition, so it might be something my brand new shop could rank for. Custom pet painting, yeah. Custom pet portrait on a mug. Yep, that's something I can certainly make. Custom portrait illustration with pet. Possibly not so much because that suggests with a pet could be something else. Ah, let's click it. We've got 50 spaces. We don't need to use them all, but it's certainly an idea. Pet portrait drawing. Now, this is an interesting one. It has some search data. When people do search, they're very likely to click. And it's not got a great lot of competition. So let's take that as well. So we've got some ideas. You can spend half the day doing this. And at any point, you can switch out between different lists if you see a word you want to put in different lists. But let's go in and view that list. Let's get some ideas here. So I can add a little description here if I want. Just by clicking there, I can change the title I want. I could also change the marketplace. If I was wanting to do this for Pinterest, I could go into Pinterest and it would find the search data for Pinterest for me. But what I want to do here 
is have a look for myself and decide which of these keywords could be interesting for me to have a go at ranking for. Now, I've got these flags here, like before I can decide, is this a good one? Is this a bad one? I can color code these to anything I want. So I'm just gonna go, like looking, you can have greens all the way down to red. So I'm gonna look and say, is it something I really want to rank for? Now this has got good search volume, but it's got high competition. So I'm not gonna go all the way up to full on green, but maybe an amber just now. Custom dog art. Again, I think this is kind of less important because it's still high competition, but it's getting much less views. So it's good, but not great. Custom dog drawing. For me, I'm going to say, yeah, I'd maybe want to go at this. It's not getting a great number of searches, but I've got a real good chance of ranking for it. Custom dog pillow. Again, this, this one looks like a good term to think about in the future. Should I be making custom dog pillows? Uh, custom dog prints. Again, looks fairly promising. So this gives me an idea of some terms, what I'm going to do with them. Um, and I can add notes to say maybe what listing I've used them in, what listing I'm thinking of using them in, how they worked. I can add little notes to this. But also, super cool, you can see this listing building section here and listing building for ad. Now I can look and I can think, if I'm wanting to create a listing today, now, which were my keywords that I was really wanting to aim for? So I said this custom dog pillow. Let's imagine we're going to make a custom dog pillow. So I would possibly want in the title of my Etsy listing, custom dog pillow. Now, that is an exact keyword that I want to rank for. So having it at the beginning at the beginning of my title is a super cool thing to do. It's an exact match for a term that I want to rank for. So this gives me a good chance of ranking for it. And it's fairly descriptive of what I want to rank for. But is there any other thing that I can add? Um, because Etsy recommend two or three of your superstar keywords in your title in your title. Now I perhaps don't want to necessarily add custom like to do the entire tag, but we could say this is digital dog art. So then we've got this dog art, custom dog arts included here, digital dog pillow. There's all sorts of terms that can come out of this, but my title is focusing mainly in on one keyword. This is just a quick example. I would look into this a lot more, but we've got an idea for a title for an imaginary listing in the future. So there we go. That's added there. Now we can add in our tags as we go along. So most important, we said custom dog pillow. So where did I put, <laughs> where did I put that? If I can't find, if I know there's a thing, so it is here, but I could filter for this. So if I started to type in pillow, then that finds that listing for me and I can hit add and that immediately puts that up and adds it to my tags there. So that's my most important one. I was already kind of focusing in on custom dog art. So let's add that one as well to my tags. Now we can, if we want to filter by all sorts of things, maybe I want to look at the easier competition things. Are there any standout terms? Well, I like that. Custom Dog Sketch has the lowest competition, but people are still searching. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Custom Pet Portrait Mug. Well, we we're aiming for the pillow, but could this item be for any of these things? It's an imaginary item, so on you go. Yep. Yeah. Custom dog drawing doesn't look so great. I'll maybe come back to that in the, in the future. Custom pet portrait digital. Absolutely, that looks really good. There's a lot of cool things there. So, and also this would optimize me for pet portrait and pet portrait digital and custom portrait. So yeah, I quite like that as a tag. Uh, and then we could go down and add any more until you've got full up of your listings. And you can see 
E rank counts the character count. So if something's too long for a tag in Etsy, as is the custom pet portrait mug, what E rank is doing is splitting these up for you. So you've got custom pet and portrait mug. So it even keeps you right there. And what you can do when you wish to, when you're building a listing on Etsy, you just hit here, copy listing tags, and you can paste that into your Etsy listing where you're adding your tags. And it adds all your tags for you. So it just makes it so easy. So what you could do at this point, if you've created a listing, put in the listing ID here of the listings that you've experimented on this with. You can change your flags to represent how it's done or to change them to say, yes, these are ones that I've tested. And then you can add to your notes in the future, say that listing is so, so many days old. Is it ranking? What's happened for it? But a feature I really love on this, we have find my listings. If you click on this, it's going to pop out a new window with your tag filter page on eRank. And what this is doing is filtering through all your listings in your shop. So my new shop here, and it's showing me of the listings in that keyword list, which of my listings have I actually optimized for these terms that I've clicked out. So it's highlighting all these terms that I've that I've put in my keyword list. So I can see for that keyword list that I just went through, I've already got quite a few terms that I've optimized for. So that's cool to be able to quickly find these kind of listings. And again, you could filter for any one of your tags there. And back to the keyword list, another awesome thing. I love this because we want to be scientific about our data. Pop on the bulk rank checker. And this searches for all these terms and sees if any of my items are ranking for them. So both these are super helpful to be able to quickly add a glance, look and say, yeah, OK, my I've, I've optimized well for these for these terms and how are they doing? And then you can go and make a note and say, yeah, this is working well. This isn't working so well for me. So it's a way to keep in track all of your listings. And these search terms are updated for you. So this is so much better than keeping a spreadsheet or keeping your little bit of paper because We've got them updated for how it's looking just now as searches take change over time. So what do you think of that feature? Let me know in the comments how you are going to use it. What are you going to use the different color codes for? What types of different lists are you going to have? Are you going to have a different list across different social media? Are you going to have different lists for different shops? Are you going to have different lists for different experiments? I'm really excited to hear how you're going to use it. And for a different perspective on how to use these keyword lists, pop over to Starla Moore's video on them. If you haven't seen her before, She's also a YouTuber and a successful Etsy seller. So I hope you'll love her advice too. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.